Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So you may or may not recognize this makeup look. I have worn it in two other videos that I recently filmed. So look for those if they have not come out yet. And if they have, I will link them down below. But today's video is going to actually be my brow routine. What I'm currently doing to fill in my brows and shape them into the shape that I like them to be. My brows are very, very difficult to work with. At least I think that they are. Most people whose makeup I do for like weddings and just clients when I'm working for makeup forever or freelancing or whatever are so much easier to do than my own brows because mine are you'll see you'll see in a second they're just <sighs> so I hope that you guys can take some tips and ideas from this video and apply it to your own brow routine because I have a lot of experience in like really working with my brow shape. God didn't give me a very good brow shape. Or maybe he did and I kind of like overplucked and ruined it throughout the years. Anyway, if you guys want to see how I do my brows on a day-to-day -day basis, then keep watching. So I start off with taking a spoolie brush like this. I take the spoolie side and I just kind of comb my brows upward and like outward sort of. So I try to kind of start to get the shape that I'm looking for right now in this step. And my right brow, which is this one, is like, you know, this is the good child and this is the bad child. This brow is my nemesis. It is just awful. It's, oh, it's so bad. So uncooperative. This one is a lot better. It's not great by any means, but what I recommend doing typically is to take the brow that is closest to being what you're going for, work on that one first, and then try to take the other one and match it to that one as best you can, if that makes sense. Because if you take your horrible brow and try to shape it into something that you're imagining, it's going to be harder than taking something that's already close to what you're imagining and shaping it from there and then mimicking on the other side. Sometimes I like brows that are a little more hairy looking rather than like block-ish. So I'm going to take this Anastasia Dip Brow. This is in the shade Dark Brown and dark brown seems really dark for my complexion but as you can see the hairs are almost black so anything lighter is usually too warm and just doesn't it doesn't look right at all and i like bold brows so so we're going to use this anastasia brush i like this one because it's really chiseled and really really precise and I'm just gonna dip that in the dip brow. What I normally do is dip a little bit into the pot. I kind of clean it off a little bit on the lid so you can tell I've done that a thousand times, um, just so I don't have too much on my brush. I will just start here on the underside of the inner part of my brow, and I take my brush like parallel to it here, and I start at the bottom and kind of flick up. My brow is a little bit sparse underneath here for some reason, and so I like to kind of fill that in and then just like comb the product upward to where you don't want tons of product up here, but you want it to be mostly concentrated down here if you have a similar brow to me or a similar situation with yours. So you can see that my brow naturally comes in to about the inner corner of my eye. Um, so mimicking that on this side is a little bit tricky, but I'll show you kind of how I navigate that. And the spoolie helps too if you're kind of combing that product upward on your skin. Um, it helps to make it look like hairs too because the little bristles on the brush will kind of grab it and sweep it upward. And it creates a little bit of space in between and it just makes it look a little bit more like hair, which I like. You can see how it still looks hairy, but it's also a little bit more... Um, bold than it is naturally so that is what we're going for and then I will just continue working on the underside here I like it to be nice and kind of angled upward like this right up toward the peak of my arch and then I will bring it down again and you can kind of see how the shape is starting from the bottom and then it's much easier once you've done the bottom um, and defined the shape there to just kind of round out the top and smooth it and fill in areas that don't quite make sense the way that they are. So see we've got that nice straight edge and then the arch here. So then what I will do is I will take my brush again and I'll start here kind of at the corner of the arch and I start to carve out that corner and bring it down to meet the tail that we created and then I kind of just continue 
the trajectory of that corner, that arch that you've created, and make sure that it comes and it kind of ends up seamless with this top edge here. So see how I've got this kind of dip? Really that's because this brow is actually lower on my brow bone than this one is naturally, so this one sits up higher and it appears more arched, whereas this one sits lower and it appears more dipped. It drives me absolutely insane, but that is my reality, and so I just kind of deal with it as best I can with makeup. So I just go through and fill in that area there until it looks straight. So that is the completed shape for this side and then you can see I've got my work cut out for me a little bit trying to make this side match but um, it always works out. Sometimes they don't look the same as they did the day before but that really doesn't bother me at all. Um, I like the look of you know going for something a little bit more natural like see how here it's not perfectly carved out it's a little bit more hairy looking if that makes sense so I don't necessarily always go through with concealer and clean up the edges and box it out and make it super crisp so on the other side let's talk about the shape here really quick so I have a pretty terrible shape I've got just some hair missing right here that just it should be full all the way down to here it should be hair so we're gonna fill that in and then my arch is like where where to go where'd you go arch there's no arch here at all so I have to try to create one up above here so what you want to do is compare both sides like I was saying and figure out just like what I'm doing where you need to fill in in order to imitate this shape the other thing is like I said my brow naturally comes into my inner corner this one used to do it too I don't know why it doesn't but it hasn't in many many years so it should really come out to about here in order to match the other side that's a big discrepancy so it is a little bit challenging trying to fill that in but I do generally fill it in so with this side because we've got less hair to work with and just no shape really I have to kind of comb it creatively and kind of see in my mind's eye where I want the hairs to go so as best you can shape it with your comb and then the rest has to be makeup obviously so we're gonna start it in the same way that we did on this side but instead of starting at the edge of where the hair is I'm gonna start where I want the brow to end up so gonna measure it and mark it a little bit that mark is just for my reference so I start in the same way parallel to the brow shape and combing up so see we're starting to get that same shape that we've got on the other side it looks a little crazy right now but just just hold on and you can even just take the brush and draw hairs see how that imitates the shape of hairs I always think of it as like drawing a little forest <laughs> that's like literally what goes through my mind when I'm doing this so see that still crazy looking but it's starting to take on this slope right here it's much quicker though like when I'm just doing my makeup but since I'm kind of walking you through it it's you know taking quite a bit longer the best advice that I can give if you're feeling a little bit intimidated by the thought of filling in your brows or by the thought of using a pomade because it is pretty it is pretty bold um, is to think of your think of the process as more of drawing on hairs which is why I like this really really thin chiseled brush um, you want to think of it more as drawing on hairs than putting makeup in your brows if that makes sense it makes it a little bit easier for your mind to kind of I don't know just make the shape come together if you if you think that you're just drawing hairs where you wish that they were and bring that arch down or the tail I guess so see that it's really really starting to look so much better So then again, in the same manner that we did on this side, gonna carve out the top of that arch there. Okay. 
Now, if you use something other than the dip brow or a cream pomade situation, if you use like a powder, for example, you can do exactly the same thing that I'm doing and you'll use a very similar brush or maybe even the same type of brush and apply the powder in exactly the same way. The pencil is gonna be slightly different just because the lines that it gives are they're totally different than a brush. Um, I've used pencil before and I just prefer the brush because I just feel like I have more control um, and it's more precise so I can really draw those hairs. And that's the only way you're going to get something that looks natural considering how much I'm doing to the shape of my brows. So that is it for the shape. Um, after that I go in with this clear brow gel. This one is by Anastasia and I just kind of comb the hairs into the exact place that I want them. I like how you can see a little bit through the hairs so that's kind of how I like to keep them looking. So I just comb everything into place here and it stays really really well. Okay I've been trying to film this outro but the wind outside is so loud oh my gosh so if you guys hear it I apologize it's quiet right now let's go let's do this quick so thank you guys so much for watching my brow routine I hope that you guys found it helpful and if you have any questions or anything leave it down below I'd love to hear from you guys and hear what you think or if you have any tips for how you do your own brows I'd love to hear those as well so if you have not subscribed to my channel I'd love to have you subscribe and join the family I have the best viewers on the internet and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>